What's up, Kinks gang? Welcome back to my natural hair channel, Locks of Kinks. It's yours truly, Scotty, and today we're doing a hair porosity test. As you guys may know or may not know, the hair porosity test determines how much moisture your hair can and will retain. If you have low porosity hair, your hair does not allow moisture easily into your hair shafts. You have to use thicker oils and thicker creams, thicker conditioners to really fully moisturize your hair. So if you have a low porosity hair, then your hair does not easily allow moisture in or out of the hair. So that means that you may have to use thicker oils and thicker creams to fully moisturize your hair. If you have normal porosity hair, then your hair easily accepts and retains moisture. So it may not take a lot to moisturize your hair. You may not need to use the thickest creams or the thickest oil because your hair will pretty much retain anything you put in it. And if you have high porosity hair, then your hair allows moisture in and out of the hair very easily. I don't exactly know my hair's porosity. My guess would be that it's low porosity because I feel like it takes a lot to moisturize my hair. Even if I just run water in my hair, I feel like I have to like dunk under and like sink my hair in water in order for it to be completely drenched with water. So my guess is that my hair is low porosity, but we are about to test this out. So what we'll need to do the hair porosity test is a glass and a clean strand of hair. And we're gonna leave it in the glass for about three to five minutes, and we're gonna see what happens. If the hair floats, it's low porosity. If the hair kind of stays in the middle, then it's normal porosity. And if the hair sinks to the bottom, then it is high porosity. Given the results, it seems that I may have low porosity hair, meaning that uh, moisture does not easily enter or leave my hair because it was just floating at the very top. Um, however, I did just play around with it and just push my hair at the bottom and it started sinking to the very bottom. So I don't know if I have low porosity hair, high porosity hair, but I, I'm gonna say I have low porosity just off my experience. Like I said, it takes a lot for my hair to even feel wet. So, so that means that I need to use thicker oils and thicker creams to make sure my hair stays moisturized. Which keeping your hair moisturized is very important when it comes to length retention and making sure that your hair is healthy. So if you have not taken the hair porosity test, it's not necessarily a necessity. If you know your hair that well and you know how your hair reacts to certain products or how well your hair retains moisture, then you should be fine. But if you do not know and you're new to this natural lifestyle, I would suggest trying it out. Get you a glass of water, a strand of clean hair, put the water in the glass for about five minutes and test it out and see if your hair sinks, if your hair floats, or if it stays in the middle. So I wanna know, have you guys tried the porosity test? So definitely comment down below and let me know if you have. Um, and what hair type you have. Is it low porosity, normal porosity, or high porosity? Thank you guys so much for keeping it locked and rocking with me. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. Stay tuned for more.